had the opportunity to talk to Ken Winters just the other day, and Ken uh, is still our state senator. He's still working in Frankfurt, and he had committee meetings today. He was not able to come to, come to our meeting tonight. But Ken is very high on this gentleman right here, Stan Humphreys from Creek County. Ladies and gentlemen, our next uh, first district state senator, Stan Humphreys. Happy this afternoon. What a great day in Callaway County to have this Victory Center opened up here. It mean, this means so much to me personally, and I know the other candidates as well, because it says that the folks over here that purchased in Callaway County know how important this race is and know how important it is to get the word out and the vote out. Greg was mentioning uh, Senator Winters. And I want to say just how much I appreciate the work that Senator Winters has done for the first district. He has served uh, uh, very well the last eight years in the situation he's been in. I know he would have liked to have stayed on and stayed as our senator in the first district, but uh, you know times change. We appreciate him and the work that he's done. What a great gentleman and a steward of our money in Frankfurt. I want to just say a few things about who I am. A lot of you may have met tonight for the first time. I'm the county judge executive in Trick County. I have some Trick Countyans here with me tonight. I appreciate them making the trek over over that new segment of bridge we got to put in. <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. The night before I knew I was going to declare to run for state senator was the night the bridge got knocked out. And I thought, oh my, is this a sign or what? But uh, I was certainly appreciative to see how government can work when we all get, you know, our sleeves rolled up get to work and four months later have the section of bridge put in. That's a wonderful refreshment, uh, refreshing to us all. You know, I believe that some of our biggest issues lie ahead of us. We have great times and great events here in our area, but you know, as a, as a border county, like Callaway County, like Trick County, a lot of the areas throughout the first district, I believe our biggest area of concern is gonna be job creation. I was there the day that Johnson Controls employees, 600 people, got their pink slip and said, we, your services are no longer needed. And the folks that I had gone to school with that maybe had their, their first job and they've been there 20 years said, we got to go home and try to find something different to do. Fulton County is, as uh, you were mentioning a while ago, Mike, 17, 18 percent. And, you know, these numbers are staggering when you think about how important it is for people to be trying to survive in this economy. We have people tonight who are thinking about how they're going to make the mortgage payment tomorrow. And that's that cannot exist, and it should not be existing in the first district in, in Western Kentucky. You know, job creation, job sustainment, finding ways to make, po make folks uh, not be underemployed. I think underemployment is also very devastating. You know, folks that were making a certain amount of dollars at, at, a, at a Johnson Control or uh, Ferry Morrison and Fulton, these folks have, have now had to resort back to finding something that's, that's less than what it takes to sustain a family. So job creation, job sustainment is going to be very important. I think we have to make wise investments. You know, money's tight. Everybody agrees money is tight. Making wise investments in our district is going to be the utmost importance. I mentioned a while ago with the bridge, and I kind of said that jokingly. But I, I am so tired of the county judge executive seeing ideas of roads, bridges, uh, be put on a six-year road plan, six, 12, and 18 years. I know Kenny knows what I'm talking about because those roads get put on there, but unless you have somebody strong enough to carry the water from your area, those roads will stay on there. Those bridges will not get built unless we have somebody who's gonna be there to tell, tell transportation and our state government how important they are for the first district. So it's, it's vital that we have people there like myself who's going to be able to do that. I know what it takes to, to help those areas get fulfilled. Folks, there's a, there's a lot of areas out there that we have got to work on. But I believe that right in, the, in western Kentucky, right here in the city of Murray, Murray State University is the jewel in western Kentucky. I believe it's, it's underappreciated and underutilized. I was here a few weeks ago at an Ag Bioworks event down here at the uh, basketball arena. And to think about the prospects of what can happen if we put our technology together, 
as we put our leadership of the university together. These folks that are out here on the cutting edge, although it's been a tough year in farming, these folks are some of the best stewards of money, land, values, uh, anywhere around. And so when you can culminate and bring those bodies together, the idea of, 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 of having something evolve from a place like Murray, Kentucky, that we could be the, not only the Commonwealth leader, but perhaps the world leader in energy and growth. <coughs> It's, it's very exciting to think about the prospects of that. So we have to do a better job, as Mike mentioned a while ago, of getting government out of the way. We don't need government telling us how to live our lives. I'm 100% pro-life. I have an A rating with NRA. I don't have Fort Campbell and Land Between the Lakes in my county and not be supportive of Second Amendment rights. So I want you to know that up front. That's, <laughs> folks, that's where I go about that. So. Uh, these other guys do a great job. They're, they're going to be great candidates for us here. But my job is for the next 12 weeks is to get the word out in all of Western Kentucky. There's one of me. And it's Saturday, I travel probably 200 miles trying to get around as many places as I can get around. But it's a, a huge district, it's seven counties. And so it means so much more if you would say something to a friend, a family member, Acquaintance you have over in the other other counties to say, look, this guy from what from Trent County, county judge executive, is willing to go to Frankfurt and fight for us. Will you please support him? Put a sign out, uh, knock on a door for him. The phone banks that are set up tonight. This is a great opportunity to, to make it. I challenge you to say that in 12 weeks we're going to make a difference. You're going to have a new center one way or the other. In 12 weeks, that could be me conservative, strong candidate that you'd be proud of, or someone else. It's your decision. So I'll leave you with that. I'll challenge you to help me along the way, and I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.